Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Facila Built for Speed. Yes, I know I'm not posting much right now, um, but um, I get this question a lot. A lot of people messaging me on Instagram and commenting in the comments, but you know, uh, under my videos, and people seem to be confused why this car's engine went. What happened? And in my opinion, well, it's pretty much a fact. Um, Today I'm gonna to answer that question. This hasn't been started for a couple weeks. Let's see if it starts. It started. Let's let it let it let it run. Doesn't run good, but yeah, I don't want it to rev too much. As you can see in the back, kind of a little bit of smoke. So I just want to run it for just for a few seconds just to get you know everything moving in the engine but uh, soon I'll give you some news on on the engine build uh, it should be done in the next two to three months okay so if you guys know this car has a custom hybrid turbo um, it's not just a you know the propeller swap it's actual you know a whole bunch of stuff a bunch of custom stuff had to be ordered for it it took a while to get built but the turbo wasn't the issue um it was the tuning so let me tell you exactly what happened this is not uh like one tuner screwed this car up no okay so what happened is i let a lot of people a lot of tuners around the world try tuning this car and try tuning it with stage three with bigger turbo <laughs> big mistake one thing i learned from this i should have went with somebody like rika right off the bat or with hilton uh however long it took i should have just went with one of them i would have been perfectly fine my engine would have been perfectly fine but i give a lot of people around the world shots you know uh you guys if any of you guys follow my videos uh from all over the world you know remote tuning you know i logged sent files flashed it blah 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 all that kind of thing um but yeah um a lot of people experimented with my car and that's why my engine blew and then at the end i got tired of the whole thing and i got rika involved royal at rika and then he started tuning he was making great progress but like i said the damage was already done and yeah the car just gave up the two of the cylinders the compression just yeah but it would happen at pretty much 29 psi and yeah it hit a little bit too much psi and yeah the engine just quit so my suggestion to you guys, if you guys are going to do stage 3, stage 2, you with the original turbo, you can have people will figure it out. It's not hard to tune with stage 2. Stage 2, I, I have, like I said, the other tuner. I, sh, you know, I probably would have tried uh, doing it myself. Stage 2 is not that hard. When it comes to stage 3, that's when it becomes very aggressive a lot. And there's very little room for mistakes with stage 3, with original engine, with upgraded turbo. And, you know, if it's just a little bit bigger turbo, maybe not as much, but still, it's still a lot more in-depth tuning process and i would highly highly recommend any of you guys that are going to be doing stage three on any car please go with somebody that did um, that tuned these cars already that has some knowledge uh with these cars not just stage two like go with somebody that have done stage threes like rika hilton they've they've done multiple stage three so they know what they're dealing with they know what precautions they need to take but yeah i uh i couldn't i didn't know rika was tuning and hilton was really busy so i just decided to do it faster and uh, faster cost me uh so yeah um don't experiment with your car just go with somebody that knows these cars don't risk it oh the, the your friend this and that guy you know things that they know what they're doing you know with tuning no don't trust them uh not that don't trust them just don't risk it because your car you're gonna be the one paying for it paying for all the repairs so just go with somebody that has enough knowledge now i think i'm gonna go you know finish my tuning obviously with somebody that's knowledgeable like rika or hilton it's just that's what it is what it's gonna be i'm gonna finish my tuning with rika and then possibly get a tune from hilton maybe make comparisons um and yeah that's my plan uh so that's the story i have for you Two, I think my piston rings uh, just gave out. I looked in, inside the piston. I didn't see no pieces, nothing like that. So it's just, I think the piston rings just, just failed. And there's no noises, no nothing. It's just, yeah. That's the weak point in these cars. 
even without you know stage three we all knew that um so it is what it is but that's why my engine failed it had nothing to do with you know one tuner or the other tuner uh like you know because it happened when rika started tuning it but their damage was already done the i 100 percent i'm confident the damage was already done uh to the engine so um if i probably started with rika and just went with rika i wouldn't be in this situation or if i started with hilton and just finished with hilton this i would not be in a situation uh with the engine as i am right now but on the contrary I'm going to show you guys, you know, I'm going to build the engine. I'm I'm in talking to a professional engine builder here locally that builds uh, engines for uh, English racing and he's a very good friend of theirs. So I've been talking to him, so I'll be he's going to be helping me doing it. It's either going to be him kind of just doing most of the process or he's going to be helping me. So I'll update you guys, but that's my story. That's why. So here you go. I know a lot of you guys were wondering so if you guys like this video, if you have any questions or comments, comment in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. But other than that, see you next time.